Welcome in a universe community. I am Sanchita Pandey and our topic for today is the law of vibration. We all know about the law of attraction. We know that if you think right, that is how you attract every possible thing you have ever desired and that is how you make all your manifestations come true. But the primary law is not the law of attraction. It is the law of vibration because the language of the universe is the in terms of vibration frequency so what is the vibration you are exuding that is what you'll be attracting to and this depends on yes what you are thinking and what you are focused on most of the time so what are you surrounded by all the time because that becomes the input of all your thoughts and actions so now when somebody is really nasty what happens is they preoccupy your mind the whole day you keep thinking about why this person did this why did he say this or why did she behave in such a nasty manner and Sometimes you also want to take revenge or you live in resentment and hatred and not realizing that for whatever reason the language you are speaking to with the universe is one of hatred. Now you may be right. They have been really bad to you and you are right in feeling those negative emotions towards them. But here is where it requires mastery. The thing is when you are thinking about why did they this or when you are more focused towards your illness, sickness, all this keeps your vibration really down. It keeps your vibration low. That is the vibration you are exuding. Now, does the universe concern itself about why? Why are you exuding this kind of vibration? The answer is no. The universe is not like your mother. You cry and your mother says, okay, okay, I'll buy you that toy. The universe is like you are crying. So you want more of this? Okay, I send you more of these people. And it was like I met this nasty person in the morning and again and again and again. You are surrounded by or the in your life, you will see repeating negative incidents which look so similar. Same kind of people coming in your purview and it is like you are now a part of this cycle of complaining, feeling resentment, not feeling good, feeling low in energy, low vibes and now this cycle is created. Now to break out from this cycle you have to exude new vibration for that you have to change your thoughts now to change my life i have to change my thoughts so i pause the best way is to not go into the why and what of their behavior sometimes you just should feel compassion towards them because it is not about you it is about how they are feeling they are angry about their own life about not being satisfied doing what they have always loved to do and that garbage they put on you as an employer as a family member as a child in the family it can be anything it can be your teachers, it can be your parents, it can be your best friend, anybody and that hurts more. But the thing is that you have to break away from this cycle of hatred, resentment, why, what and they are bad people, they did this to me, I have done so much for them. How do you do it? You forgive them. You forgive them no matter what. If you have done something good, you offer it to the Almighty. I have given it as an offering to the Almighty and my job is done. How you have taken it, how you have not been in gratitude, 
how you have been angry when I was trying to elevate you, you were trying to break me down. All this, don't go into this and just forgive no matter what, no questions asked. Now you clear your vibration and you are ready to exude new vibration. Now you can decide, you can choose to focus on what is good in your life, what is still good in your life. I was in the hospital a few years back and as I went into the ward, there was TV there. And this one patient was like <gasps> listening to the news and watching this negative serial and his expressions were like <gasps> and I kept looking at this person and I was like how will this person heal if this is the input because this will become the basis of his thoughts later on oh the world is bad and See the energy, the energy that percolates inside every cell in your body. What will it be like? It will be negative. It will be full of fear. People are bad. You don't have to trust them and the world is bad and this is how they behave. And then you will keep thinking about similar incidents from your life, from your relatives life, from your friends life. Yeah, this happened with him, this happened with her, with me. So, a cycle of events, similar events follows in your mind. It is a conversation you are having with yourself. But then, the law of vibration goes on 24 into 7. Even without your realizing, it is still working. Like gravitational pull. Think about it or not, you are still the law is still working. The, the gravitational pull is there. That is why you are walking on the ground. So likewise, the law of vibration is working all the time. So now it requires a lot of awareness and to keep track of your feelings. How you are feeling all the time. If you are feeling good, that means you are watching the right things. You are in the right company. You are reading the right things. You are learning good things, you are more into creativity, you are working in the right place, You, your family members are assisting you in, in at least keeping your vibrations the way they are, not bringing them low. And if because of your heightened awareness, you find that because of certain people, person, individual, in your family, in your friend circle, in your working place, anywhere. If you find them bringing your vibrations low, down, somebody, there, there are people in your office who always have everything, the bad news that is going around, the bad news that is happening in the world. So if you keep focusing on that, oh really, oh my God, what is happening? Again, you are bringing your vibrations low. Now you start exuding this and more of such people will come into your life. More to complain, more not to feel good. So you require mastery over your emotions, over your choice. You always have a choice. The music is not good. You have a choice. Don't criticize the other person who is making music. You tune in to better music or the music of your choice. That's it. This is what you have to do. Why criticize and complain or bring somebody down? Every person is working to the best of their knowledge and they are not in the same plane. Everybody is not in the same station. So you cannot hurry up their, their pace of, of knowing who they are, self-knowledge. It has to come their way through inspiration or their awareness of their need to learn something. 
to imbibe new knowledge, to unlearn something, the conditioned ways of behavior and living their life. So a lot of things and it is a continuous journey. This just continues and the journey is so beautiful because of the unlearning, relearning that goes on throughout. And when you learn your lesson, the same lessons are not repeated. Then you start meeting new people, new experiences. And because of your awareness, you will now find that even in case you the same experience is repeated, your response is different to that experience. Something which triggered you earlier doesn't make any difference at all. You are so calm and quiet. That is how you know as an individual you have moved forward spiritually and you don't bother about validation from others you are so so authentic and so in tune with who you are that is where that is the space from where satisfaction inner joy inner peace come so that is your place your peaceful space and do not let anyone come into it and spoil the vibrations there so stay aligned stay in that meditative state throughout no matter what now that requires maybe you make a mistake sometimes but then you can come back again okay you can get ready and next time if this comes my response should be different that is how you keep learning so it is a long journey, a long process of awareness, of knowing yourself and a resolve to keep improving as an individual. So keep track of how you are feeling in order to stay in high vibration. And that is what will make you tune in to the right, right song, to the right desire, to the right everything in your life. See, there is music in this room, but can I hear it? No, because it is beyond the frequency that my ears can hear. However, if you tune in a radio, you can tune into FM, AM according to your choice. That choice you have all the time throughout the day. So what is the vibration you are tuning into? That is how you are creating, sculpting your life. Be more creative, be happy, be in gratitude, be kind, compassionate and be more love and anything that disturbs your peace. Keep it, keep them, keep him, keep her away. Thank you so much in a universe community. See you again in the next video. Till then, you know it. I love you and I send you my love and blessings. May you stay safe and happy till we meet in our next video. Thank you. Namaste.